Hey, I'm Nick from Dorman Products, and this is our video on our OEFIX EGR cooler for Ram trucks and Jeep vehicles. A diesel engine in a light duty truck chassis is an appealing prospect to some consumers. Unlike the Cummins found in larger Ram trucks, the Eco Diesel aims not for outright torque, but thrifty fuel usage and increased longevity over comparable gassers. The V6 diesel performs like a gasoline V8, but only uses about 70% of the fuel. As a tech, it can be important to remember that owners choose this engine option due to the longevity and higher resale value. And when repairs are needed, these owners tend to be willing to pay for them. They want to keep the trucks running. There are a few well-known flaws with this engine pertaining to the intake manifold. Often, due to a failing EGR valve, soot accumulates in the manifold. A failed cooler often leads to soaring exhaust gas temperatures. That gas enters the manifold, and in short order, owners experience melted manifolds and even vehicle fires. If you get complaints of no power and burning smells, this may be related. IMRC codes and intake manifold codes may also appear, but those acute problems often trace back to the EGR cooler you can see here. There's actually a dealer recall related to some EcoDiesel EGR coolers. Bad EGR coolers may have been repaired under warranty, but the replacement is no better. On the upside, they are made of stainless, which is a tough material here. We liked it, so we stuck with the same material in our OE Fix cooler. But in our research, we identified a few issues with the OEM coolers that we thought we could improve upon. First, early versions of this OE cooler were being damaged when they were attached to the cooling system. The delicate sealing O-rings were being crushed as the EGR cooler was being installed, leading to leaks. Later versions of the OE cooler had a revised gland design to better protect the O-rings. So if you're replacing the early EGR cooler, the OE fix will be an upgrade in that area. We mimic the later design they chose because it works. But there are still a few spots that needed help. If you look at the OE design here, you'll notice that this is designed similarly to a radiator with a tried and true fitting design. There's just one problem. Unlike a radiator, this piece has some exhaust gas involved. So the problems we discovered in this area are interrelated. If you look at the OE piece here, you can see that the areas where the exhaust gas flows are very open. The gas gets in and moves around. The problem is that it works too well. They flow too quickly and wind up not fully cooling. The big cooling surface area soots up over time and that compounds the problem. Soot insulates the searing heat from being cooled correctly by the antifreeze, making a bad problem worse. Our innovative redesign solves both problems at the same time. We began prototyping all kinds of ways to prevent soot formation and slow down the exhaust gas to give the coolant time to do what coolant does. After 3D printing loads of designs, we found this one to be the most effective. We move the gases through the tubes and we have a restrictor in the form of a helix putting the brakes on the EGR gas, a twister restrictor. Here, this can be seen better in this clear prototype we have. See how this looks almost like it's rifling? It acts to slow the flow down. Note too that this design actually increases the time the gas spends in the cooler. This helps to keep temperatures under control and also avoids the problem of soot clogging up the cooler. The final fix we made involves replacing the piece. The dealer will sell you the same cooler with the EGR motor and actuator as one unit, which is very pricey. We include just the updated cooler with instructions on transferring the OE motor and actuator over to help save money while getting the benefit of the increased cooling performance and reduced chance of overheated manifolds. Speaking of which, if you're doing this job as a part of a burned down manifold, we sell an OE fix version of that as well. Check out the 615311 which has upgrades that will work in tandem with this cooler. Installation on the cooler is straightforward. The only difference between this and a factory install is a little time on the bench where some components need to be swapped over. With the OE cooler assembly out of the vehicle, remove the EGR bypass valve and elbow. Set them aside along with the factory mounting hardware for reinstallation later. You'll do the same for the motorized EGR valve mounted towards the front of the vehicle. Next, clean all factory sealant from the EGR valves and elbow. Make sure that the sealing surface is absolutely clean so that the included gaskets can seal properly. Using the supplied gaskets and the factory mounting hardware, install the EGR valve, bypass valve, and elbow to the new cooler and make sure that you tighten the fasteners to 60 inch pounds. Before installing the completed EGR cooler assembly, you'll need to replace the reducer O-rings in the EGR manifold. These little O-rings are delicate and if included replacements are damaged or insufficiently lubricated during installation, they will leak. Just take your time and work carefully. Start by removing the restrictors from the EGR manifold. And once they're out, you'll need to remove the original O-rings and discard them so that the new ones can be installed. 
Apply plenty of silicone grease to new O-rings included in the OE Fix cooler, then carefully install them. If you have any damaged OE reducers, make sure to replace them before moving on to the next step. Be sure to replace all of them since there are lots of O-rings in play here. Start by swapping out the O-rings for the reducer to manifold side. Then, move on to the reducer to cooler side for the next set. And finally, there are more O-rings to change in the EGR coolant galley. Finally, you'll install the completed EGR cooler assembly into the EGR manifold following the factory procedure. Our OE Fix EGR cooler is a smart upgrade or repair for many popular Ram and Jeep vehicles, and its cooling performance should help keep Eco Diesels running reliably for a long time. We hope you like this new solution, and remember, if you need anything at all, the Dorman Technical Support Team is always available to help. Thanks for checking out our video on this OE Fix EGR cooler for Ram and Jeep vehicles. I'm Nick, and I'll see you next time.